now for something completely different. This is my 1967 Volkswagen Beetle. I have owned it for 26 years. I drive it on nice days. It sits under a cover in my garage. I am very careful with it. I love this little car. I've done a lot of work to it over 26 years. Eh, my children have grown up in it. It is a wonderful car. It drives like a champ. Uh, I bought it for $400 because the motor was blown. It was a one owner vehicle. It did not look like this when, when I purchased it. It had a black interior. Um, it had stock Volkswagen wheels with hubcaps and it was dirty. Kind of, it was, you know, a $400 Beetle 26 years ago. It's time to bring it in the shop for its annual maintenance. I have antique plates on it, antique uh, registration. Uh, in Louisiana, that means that I do not have to have it inspected every year. It's a great little car. I put about 1,000 to 1,500 miles a year on it, and it is a total joy to drive. I'm bringing it in the shop today to do its annual oil change, valve adjustment, adjustment of the brakes, but also, I'm putting in a new battery today, taking the old battery out and going to look up under there at the floor pan, which is the original floor pan, uh, no rust on it, and uh, put in a new battery and a new battery mat, uh, adjust the carb, just kind of go over the car, check out the brakes, look at my suspension, look at the ball joints, look at... Tires, brakes, just going over it. Hope you enjoy this video. Come along with me. We'll look this thing over. The uh, car has a 1600cc single port motor. Uh, I have air conditioning in it. I installed that about maybe 23 years ago. A Sanden rotary compressor. Uh, purchased it from a company called ICE. They were in San Diego at that time. I have no idea if they're still in existence. The paint is decent on it. This actually had been repainted once by the previous owner in his garage. Um, I, I keep up with it. It's always clean. It's always waxed. I love this view of it, showing the MP5 spoke wheels, uh, my little Deutschland badge right on the back bumper there and uh, you can see from the reflections she she buffs up nicely here's a view from behind and underneath uh, looking at my Leistritz muffler a little larger exhaust tips uh, love the beautiful old style bumpers and the uh, reverse lights mounted on the bumper itself clean little car. It's not perfect. It is a driver. It has nicks and dents and scratches, but people stare at me, beep their horn at me, wave at me. I can't go to a gas station and fill up without someone coming and wanting to look at it and talk about it. Yeah, it's just a fantastic little car. Here's another view from behind. Uh, my first car was a 1969 Volkswagen Beetle, which I had in high school. Drove it all over western New York, Buffalo, salt, snow. Oh, it took its toll on it. But down here in Louisiana, uh, rarely do we have any snow. There is no salt on the roads. Uh, so an old Beetle like this can still stick around and still have decent floor pans as long as you take care of them. Interior shot, back seat area. I do have the pop-out windows, original headliner, and behind the back seat 
is a panel made of the same material as the headliner. And hiding behind that seat is an amplified subwoofer from a Range Rover. Pick that up in a, uh, you ought to pull it wrecking yard and wired it into my uh, Becker, uh, Becker Europa 2 stereo, which I have out of an old Mercedes Benz. And then also I have speakers in the front kick panels. And it's a good sounding little car. The upholstery uh, came from TMI 26 years ago. And it's still holding up very well. Here is a view looking in the passenger door. Over the driver's side, the uh, Becker Europa 2 stereo in the dash. My air conditioning controls and vents up underneath the dash. The uh, door panels are also TMI panels, uh, 26 years old. I have oatmeal carpeting. You can see the speakers and the kick panels. And of course, my favorite uh, cocoa mats on the floor. Very comfortable car. I did the upholstery myself. Use some new cushions and some new pads. And uh, the back seat up under there is still the original horsehair, so it still has that Volkswagen smell. But the front seat uh, does have some pads, new pads in there. I truly enjoy driving this car. It uh, drives very well. A lot of people say, oh, you're driving that old Volkswagen Beetle. I bet you get 50 miles per gallon. Uh, not really. I, I don't even measure my miles per gallon, but people back in the day, in the 60s and 70s, Beetles were just, oh, so fuel efficient. I, I, I'm guessing I'm getting a little over 25, but I, I've never checked. But I love this view of the car. Uh, you'll notice the uh, back wheels uh, <laughs> have a little bit of a a uh, little lean to them there. I just gotten it off the ramps. A view from the front. Um, you may be noticing the uh, the headlamps don't look like regular headlamps. They're not. They're LEDs. Found them online. They're glass. They have little fans on the back of the bulb. They are really bright. Um, at, in the at nighttime, it is s such such a pleasure driving with these LED headlights in there. I've taken the bottom of the back seat out to get to the battery. You may notice this insulation pad there. It came from under the back seat of a mid-1980s Mercedes S-Class sedan. That's what Mercedes used to use under the back seat. Wonderful insulation. Uh, the, other, uh, the underside of it is actually the the padding and then this black plastic uh, is just perfect. No, look at the uh, the black plastic and you might notice some dust there. That is actually horsehair from the original rear back seat. And uh, down in the corner, you'll notice my uh, my cocoa mats and my oatmeal carpeting. Now to the business end. Have it up on my ramps changing the oil at the moment. Uh, you can see the uh, Sanden rotary compressor there on the driver's side. I do have the original air cleaner assembly in there. My coil is mounted up on top of my fan housing and you'll also notice an air conditioning condenser on the back firewall. There is another condenser up under the front behind the beam with an electric fan on it. Keeps it nice and cool. Changing the oil, looking up underneath here, and you may be thinking, wow, he sure cleaned this thing up for this video. But no, it always looks this way. I use the neoprene gasket kit from Wolfsburg West, and it sure beats the original paper cardboard type gaskets that Volkswagen used to use. Um, really no drips, a little bit of seepage, not bad. Um, nice, nice and clean, nice and clean. Getting ready to pull a valve cover off to do a valve adjustment. Um, 
No, I did not clean anything here. That's just the way it always looks. Uh, you notice I'm using uh, coilover shocks in the back and also the factory sway bar kit. The uh, Z-bar, as they call it, is still installed. I had put some new bushings and things on there to kind of spruce it up a little bit. And you're off to your right there in the picture, you'll see part of my rear tires. I'm running Michelin XZX tires on it that I purchased from Coker. Uh, Coker apparently bought the original molds from Michelin and makes these tires now, and they are just wonderful. Another front view of the car. Uh, that is a replacement windshield, of course, and uh, it, it looks really good. It shines. I love it. Since I was putting a new battery in it, decided also to go ahead and replace my ground strap. Uh, the one on the right there is the original ground strap from 1967, and the nice, shiny, brand new one there on the left is, uh, of course, shiny and brand new. I feel it deserves it. This is my old battery mat that I had up underneath the battery. I replace these about every 10 years or so because uh, they do absorb acid from the battery which will protect your floor pan and as I said I do have the original floor pans in this Beetle from 1967 and I want to keep it that way and this will be my new battery going in uh, batteries last about 10 years in these little beetles. Uh, occasionally I'll put it on a little trickle charger, but I do drive it enough to keep the battery charged up. But if you can get 10 years out of a battery nowadays, yeah, you're doing very well. And what you're looking at now is my original floor pan, 1967. A little bit of surface rust, but not bad. A little bit of uh, horse hair coming off of the uh, the back seat, but that's fine too. Um, I know it's I'm hard to imagine a '67 still driving around with its original floor pan. And this is my replacement West Coast Metric battery mat. Um, they really help. I highly recommend them. Uh, they're not so thick that you can't bolt the battery down. Uh, sometimes I've seen in, in vehicles where people put a little plastic tray up under there to kind of hold it, but that messes up the, the hold-down bolt and uh, bracket. So uh, I just use one of these mats, and it works great. Side-by-side -side view, left side, 10-year-old mat. Right side, brand new. It has absorbed some acid, as you can see. Well worth it if you've got a Beetle, use a battery mat. If you've got an old Mercedes, use a battery mat. A Porsche, a battery mat. Anything, use a battery mat. It is. Uh, it sure beats trying to have to fix a floor pan. And here is a view of the new ground strap installed and also the fresh battery mat. I highly, I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat this. Save yourself the headache of having to cut out a floor pan, weld a new floor pan in. The new floor pans that you buy are garbage. They, I don't know where they're made, but they are super thin. If you can still keep your old Beetle floor pan in there, do it. Do whatever you have to do. It's worth it. New battery installed. Notice the plastic cover that I have over the positive terminal. And I'm also using a rubber terminal, a black terminal over the negative terminal too. I 
Don't know why, but I've done that. Um, you're also looking at my carpeting, oatmeal carpeting, and my uh, cocoa mats there. Ready for me to put this back together and hopefully not have to do this for another 10 years. Obligatory dashboard shot um, showing my speedometer, gas gauge, my Becker Europa 2 stereo, air conditioning, my speakers. Uh, love looking at this dashboard. Absolutely love looking at it. Steering wheel, which has a, um, a steering wheel cover on it, which has been on there probably since 1967. Love this car. And here we're looking at my odometer and speedometer. 54,007 miles. Could be 154,000. It could be 254,000. It could be 354,000. I really have no idea. Here is my horn button. Wolfsburg Crest. This is the original from 1967. You'll notice uh, it's got some little cracks, some age, some patina. That's okay. It's all part of this classic car. This is a Becker Europa 2 stereo, which I pulled out of a mid-70s Mercedes W116 sedan. Uh, AM FM stereo. Uh, wonderful radio. It just gives the dash that little extra bit of class to it. Uh, you're wondering why that black plastic surround is around there. The original owner back in the day had cut the dash to put a bigger radio in there and ruined it. But uh, so please don't don't do that. If you've got an original Beetle dashboard, don't don't hack it up. Don't cut it. Um, I, I'm living with this. Uh, that little black surround. It looks okay. These are Hella turn signal lenses. I have no idea how old they are. Uh, this is back when you could get good quality Hella turn signal lenses made in Germany. I'm real proud of them. I think they're beautiful. And also Hella rear turn signal lenses made in Germany. I think they're just as beautiful as the front are. Classic. Just classic. And there, of course, is D for dummy. No, D for Deutschland, which is the German word for Germany. So many people ask me, why do you have a D on the back of your car? Well, D is for Deutschland. And my other rear Hella turn signal lens made in Germany. Getting harder and harder to find quality replacement parts for these beetles. Most things come from China now and they just do not meet the standards of the original German lenses. My license plate frame saying Monroe. That's where this car was originally purchased, was in Monroe, Louisiana, 1967. And the dealership was Lee Edwards Volkswagen. Uh, then it changed to Lee Edwards Imports, and he was the dealer and still is the dealer for Mazda here in town. He no longer is a Volkswagen dealer. We do not have one in this area. We have to drive 100 miles to Shreveport, or to Jackson, Mississippi. What a shame. Well, this brings an end to my little tour of my 1967 Volkswagen Beetle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please click on subscribe. 
I'll be bringing lots of other vehicles here. I, I am a car nut. I have a bunch of cars. They're all drivers. They're nothing immaculate. They're not pristine. Because cars are meant to be driven and enjoyed. Thanks so much. Bye.